for you, too. Oh, isn't that cute? Not scary, but cute. Oh. I see somebody's gearing up for the annual pesky Halloween scary contest. I hate this dumb contest. I don't want to even do it. Because it's a great chance for Aldrin and me to scare the bug jiggers out of you without getting in trouble. Just remember, when you're ready to quit, say, I'm scared, and the game's over. I'll polish up the loser's trophy for this year's award ceremony. What makes you so sure I'm gonna lose again? Hmm, let's see. Don't worry, Pupert. It'll be over before you know it. And here, I brought you a few things to help you through it all. A pillow to cry into, a pillow to call mommy, and a new pair of shorts. Just in case. You can keep your little gifts, because this year, things are going to be different. I've been training. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to borrow this. How to become scareproof? I've been preparing for this year's contest. I've even hired a personal trainer. Drop and give me five, maggot. What are you afraid of? Nothing. What are you made of? Uh, exoskeleton and gooey stuff? Iron. You're made of iron. And what do you hate? Chicken. Say it again. Chicken, sir. I hate chicken. Cute, my boy. I'm impressed. Thanks. And what, Maggie, have you done to prepare for this year's scaretacular? I, uh, polished the chicken. Uh-huh. Pupert Pesky, you've had the chicken long enough. This Halloween, I'm going after Maggie. Wait, what? Silence! The Reaper has spoken. I hereby commence the Pesky Scaring Contest. First sibling to quit and say, I'm scared, gets clucky. Who's in? Needs work, kid. <laughs> One, two, three! Uh-oh. Hey! What do you got? I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse fly. Well, I don't have a horse fly, but how about a nice, juicy chicken? <laughs> Better clear off a shelf, because Kalecki's moving in! <laughs> Admit it, Pupi. One of us is going down with this thing. So, let's cut to the chase. What are you proposing? We go mano a mano. Winner takes all, loser gets clucky. The Pupert's listening. You spend one night alone in the abandoned mansion on the edge of town. Oh, you mean the haunted house by the marsh? But no one sets foot in there for like, like ever. I can't spend the night in there. Why? Is the Pupert scared? No, the Pupert's bedtime is 8 o'clock. Oh, fine. You stay until sunset. And Clucky's mine. Belle, and the chicken's yours. What do you say? Are you in, or are you scared? <laughs> I say Clucky's moving out. And that might take the long weekend, change your mind, and come back moving out. He's moving out for good. So, you have to spend the entire day in there, and all she has to do is stand out here and wait? That's the deal I made. 
Maggie, that's a raw deal, and you know it. You can't do this. Raw deal or not, a deal is a deal. Right, Pubert? I guess. Ugh. Maybe you should spare yourself the trouble and take Clucky now. Hunk of junk. But you can't. There's a little boy inside. The little ghost boy? Please. That story's been around since I was a kid. Please, just come inside and I'll show you. Ooh, I'm shaking already. Hubert, Hubert, you gotta get out of here. I'm telling you, he's in here. He's probably hiding. He thinks I'm trying to trick him. Look, kid. I've got a house to demolish. Danger! Hubert! House! Fred! I'm sorry, I'm gonna need to buy a verb. They're gonna demolish the house! Hubert's in there and he won't come out! You gotta help me! Demolish the house, huh? <laughs> I gotta tell you, Maggie, you've tried some weak ways of scaring me before, but this is just pathetic. Audrey, I'm telling you the truth! Are ya? Cause all I heard was... <laughs> You went all out on this one. You really got me. Oh, no! What? 